Hi, I'm Salman and today I'm going to address a very common issue that Mac users have and that is called the gamma shift. If you're exporting something on DaVinci Resolve and you're using MacBook Pro, MacBook or any other Mac for instance, your exports look washed out. So this is something that I color graded and when I exported it using the default settings, it is looking something like this. As you can see, there's a major difference in the contrast especially in the way the colors are uh, exported. We're not going to solve that with a screwdriver. We're going to solve that with just two very simple settings. Now, these are the settings that you should be keeping before actually color grading your project. But let's say you've already color graded your project and you're worried that you'll have to spend a lot of time fixing the exposure again. I have some very simple tips for you towards the end of the video and that also is going to be solved pretty easily. So let's jump in. The first setting that we need to adjust is we need to go into DaVinci Resolve. We need to go into preferences and then general and in general make sure that this setting is selected use mac display color profiles for viewers mine is already selected so i'm just gonna press save and now the next setting we're gonna go into project settings and we're gonna go into color management and over here the default um, timeline color space is most of the times going to be rec 709 scene or rec 709 gamma 2.4 now this is what creates the problem so you're gonna go into timeline color space and you're gonna set it to Rec 709A. Now I perceive is as uh, Rec 709 Apple. Uh, I don't know what Rec 709A exactly means. You can let me know that in the comments. All right, so Rec 709A and output color space, same as timeline. And then I'm gonna press save. And as soon as I press save, it's gonna show me that exact same export that we did that we were watching in the QuickTime player and now it matches. So that means we'll have to readjust the exposure to get it looking correct. Now, because Rec 709A color space is gonna give you consistent results when you're exporting, uh, what I normally do is that, uh, you know, after setting it up on Rec 709 and output color space to same as timeline, just go to the master settings, come up over here and save current settings as default preset. So every time you open it up, the color space is gonna be on Rec 709A. Now let's get to a solution where you already have color graded, let's say several different shots and you just wanted to, uh, you know, you don't want to spend a lot of time to, you know, correct the exposure again. So in that case, just like this one, we haven't adjusted the exposure now, we're just gonna go into this node area and instead of clips, I'm gonna go into timeline so that we could affect the whole timeline. And over here, we're gonna go into effects and we're gonna search for color space transform. We're gonna add that color space transform over there. Uh, in the input color space, we're gonna put in rec 709. And in the input gamma, we're gonna put in gamma 2.4. So once this is done, as you can see, we're getting the same result, the same thing that we were, uh, you know, when we first adjusted the exposure, it was looking something like this. So this is a really, really easy fix. If you like the video, drop a comment down below and let me know. My stats tell me that more than 95% of the people who are watching my videos are not subscribed to the channel. So please show some support so that I could keep producing more videos like this. Press that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.